welcome! I heard that you and Gary are taking a camping trip next weekend? It sounds like a lot of fun! Oh, hey, Megan. I guess he must have told you about it. Yeah, it's her first ever camping trip ever, and I'm really looking forward to it. I've been telling him that I want to go for the longest time. I'm glad that it's finally come true. Well, I've actually really wanted to go camping with him, too! Oh, I see. Well, maybe you guys can take a family trip together sometime. I'll let you know how our trip goes so that you can use it as a reference to plan your own trip with him. Oh, that's not what I was trying to say! I texted you to ask you to switch places with me! I'm his sister, so I should be able to go with him first! It's only fair, as I'm actually his family member, you know? He's my beloved brother! I want to spend more time with him, as you've been hogging him recently! This is only fair! Um, what are you talking about all of a sudden? Switch places with you. I just told you that I've been looking forward to this for a while. It's like our first trip we take together ever since our honeymoon. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do as you say. Oh, you're so selfish at times like this. All I'm asking you to do is switch places with me. It's not a difficult thing to do at all. You basically got to spend all your time with him anyway. It's just not fair at all. Actually, I think that what you're asking me to do is a little ridiculous. You can be a little crazy at times, I feel. Gary is my husband, so it's normal for us to spend most of our lives together. Hmm, you're so selfish and mean at times. Well, I think that you need to calm down a little. Let's talk again once you've cleared your head. Anyway, I gotta start preparing dinner, so I'll get going now. Hey, Bianca. Hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for the birthday present, by the way. It really made my day. Hey, Megan. You already got it? That's good to know. I wasn't sure if you were gonna get it on time. I'm doing great, by the way. Hope that you've been doing well, too. Yeah, Gary actually told me you were getting me something for my birthday, and I couldn't help but open my present early. Sorry to spoil the surprise like that, but I just couldn't wait. Oh, it's no problem at all. I'm glad that you seem to like it. Oh, yeah, I absolutely love the gift that you got for me. Did you pick this dress out yourself? Yep, I picked it out myself. I wasn't sure if you would like it, so it took me a while to finally decide on it. Do you actually like it? Like, for real? Of course I do. I have no idea why you even have to ask me. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so beautiful. It was very thoughtful of you to choose this out for me. I think that you've got absolutely great taste. You've got a real eye for fashion. Oh, wow. You think so? I'm completely flattered. You're really good at complimenting people. I'm just really relieved that you don't hate it. <laughs> I looked everywhere to find you the right present. I know you're into fashion, so I thought that the dress might be something you'd like. I was just a little nervous, as all of the clothes you wear is really fashionable. This is the perfect summer dress. Wearing it makes me feel like I should be riding a bike through Paris. I'm definitely going to be wearing this dress a lot this summer. You gave it to me at the perfect timing, too. I was just thinking that I needed to get some new clothes for this summer. That's great. Dresses like that have been getting pretty popular recently, so I thought you'd like it. I actually saw a similar dress in a fashion magazine, and that's why I decided to get something like that. Gary should try to take some notes from you. He's always been terrible at choosing gifts for me. <laughs> what you gave me is definitely so much better than anything that he's ever given me for my birthday or our anniversary. He always gets me useless things like gag gifts or things he'd like to wear for himself. Did you know that he got me a stupid luchador mask and a wrestling t-shirt last year from his business trip to Mexico? He thought it'd be funny or something. But like, what am I meant to do with something like that? All the gifts that he gets me just get piled up in the storage without ever being used. I'm thinking of just disposing of it all at this point. Oh, really? You've never been into stuff like that. Even I would know not to get you something like that. 
I guess he really doesn't know what he's doing. Right? What am I supposed to do with those? He's got no fashion sense, unlike you. I really wish that you'd be the one that gets me gifts usually. <laughs> That'd make things so much better for me. That's true. Gary's always been bad at buying gifts for other people. I always tell him that it's important to pay attention to what other people like so he can stay up to date with trends and what people want. He just doesn't seem to want to listen to my advice for some reason. Right? You really know a lot about current trends despite your age? I'm really surprised considering you're basically a dinosaur. I didn't think that you'd be so up to date with everything to be honest. You're way better at picking out gifts than him. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks, I guess. You know, I'm not that much older than you, right? I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't, like, really mean it. Well, kind of. <laughs> anyway, I really wish you could have come out with us today. Gary's taking us to this fancy Italian restaurant later for my birthday, and everyone's gonna be there. It's got fantastic reviews online, and everyone's been talking about it lately. I've been wanting to go for so long. You're really missing out. I hear the pasta there is, like, one of the best in the country. You got me the perfect present for my birthday, and I'm kind of bummed that you won't be able to make it. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I wish I could be there, too, but I'm stuck at work at the moment. I have to take care of some things here, or we'll fall behind schedule. I hope that I can make it up to you at some point, though. Also, let me know how the restaurant is. I'd love to hear your opinion about it. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Gary told me all about that earlier. <laughs> he said that you made a huge mistake at work, and you have to stay in the office for a while and fix it. Maybe you're starting to lose your attention span as you're starting to get really old. Actually, it wasn't me who made the mistake, to be honest. Well, I didn't check the report properly, though, so I do have to take some responsibility for it, though. Oh, that's too bad, then. I guess it means that you can't come either way, though. Well, in a way, I'm kind of glad that you were the one who couldn't come to dinner. <laughs> I'm sure that we'll have a great time with or without you here. Huh? Did I just read that correctly? You're kind of glad that I won't be coming. Why is that? I'm just talking comparatively, you know? If Gary couldn't make it to my birthday because he was stuck at work too, I think I'd cry. I couldn't imagine spending my birthday without him. <laughs> However, you not being able to come doesn't really make me that sad. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, then. I'm not sure if it was completely necessary to tell me this, but okay. You two have always been pretty close, after all. Guess I kind of understand what you're trying to say. That's right! He's always been there for me no matter what. He's my hero. Besides being awful at picking out gifts for people, he's the perfect older brother. <laughs> That's why I definitely want him at my birthday. It's kind of cute how the two of you get along so well. Kind of makes me wish I wasn't an only child. Well, in any case, I'm sorry that I can't make it to your party. I hope the four of you have a great time today, though. Tell your parents I said hi, okay? Don't worry. We're gonna have a great time without you. <laughs> I'll let them know you said hi, though. Oh, and thanks again for the present. I really appreciate it so much. I think it's one of the best gifts I've received in a while. I plan on visiting your house again later to give my thanks. I'll be looking forward to seeing you. Oh, okay then. It's no problem. I'll see you later then. Have fun. I gotta get back to work. Hey, Bianca! It was nice coming over today. I'm sorry for bothering you so late at night. It's okay. I'm sorry I can't offer you a warm welcome, though. I've just been so busy trying to catch up with work. We're really behind schedule-wise. I'm such a terrible host, aren't I? That's not true at all. Don't say that about yourself. Gary mostly kept me company, so it's totally okay. I actually had a lot of fun here today. It's been a while since I visited your house, too. It's so nice and comforting here. Oh, you think so? Thanks, I'm really happy to hear that from you. 
I really wanted to stay for the night, but he said I wasn't allowed to. Oh well, maybe next time. I guess I'm gonna get going for today then. Aw, oh, you're leaving already? That's too bad then. I wouldn't have minded if you had have stayed over today. It would have been nice to catch up. Although, you have plans tomorrow morning, don't you? I guess Gary doesn't want you to be late for that. That's true. I'm supposed to meet up with some friends tomorrow. It'd kind of be a hassle to go there from your house. There's no rush. You can always come back whenever you want, okay? Our doors are always open for you. Okay, thanks then, Bianca. I really appreciate it. Gary hasn't been coming to visit lately, so I was getting kind of lonely. That's why I decided to come over today, too. Lately, it seems like he doesn't want to hang out with me at all, and it's really upsetting for me. He came for my birthday, but since then, he's been turning me down whenever I ask him if he wants to hang out with me. I was starting to wonder if he hated me or something. Do you think he hates me? I wonder what I did to him. Don't worry. He doesn't hate you. I'm sure about that. We've just been swamped with work lately, so that's probably the reason why he hasn't been around. Once things calm down, you can come over to our house and hang out with him. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Stop trying to tell me some random lies like that! Isn't the reason why he's been so busy lately because you haven't been doing any work at all? All of this is happening because you're a lazy cow that can't even pull your own damn weight. Wait, what in the world are you talking about? Where'd you hear something like that? What you just said isn't true at all. I've been working really hard recently and I've been doing my absolute best. It's been really stressful trying to keep this company afloat with everything that's been going on lately. Why would you say something like that? Well, that's what he's been telling me. So what else am I supposed to think? I'm always going to be taking his words over your words, no matter what happens. He's always grumbling about how you mess everything up and how he has to do your job for you. Could it be that you're incompetent or something? <laughs> Maybe that's why it feels like you have an endless amount of work to do. Didn't you make a colossal mistake at work a while ago and that made you have to stay at work and miss my birthday dinner? <laughs> You're such an airhead. You should be more careful so that you don't inconvenience him, okay? I can't believe that you're causing extra stress for him. You really need to work on yourself. What? I'm honestly kind of surprised to be hearing this. Why would he say something like that? Incompetent. Did Gary really say that about me? I find that very hard to believe. I guess that's just how he sees it. He's a very capable worker, so compared to him, you're probably very incapable. I know that he's a capable worker, as he's the president of the company. <laughs> Hang on a second. I don't understand where you're getting all this from. Now you're telling me that Gary's the president of the company. What on earth are you talking about? You're not making any sense to me at all. Huh? Do you really not know who the president of your company is? See, Bianca, that's what he's talking about. He said that since you can't do your job properly, he's leading the company now. Well, at least that's what he told me. Anyway, you should be so, so grateful for him. You're really lucky that you married someone as amazingly capable as him. <sighs> the company would have gone bankrupt by now because of you if you didn't marry him after all. He's like the only reason that the company that you guys work for is still alive, right? Are you serious? Did he really tell you that he's the president now because I'm so incompetent at my job? You gotta be kidding me. That's right. He's always complaining about how much you mess everything up. You should be more grateful for everything that he does for you. If you keep relying on him too much like this, he'll start to hate you. <laughs> and if that happens, you guys won't be able to stay married. That's definitely going to be a loss for you, by the way. He's going to have tons of better women lining up to get married to him. I see. So that's the kind of thing that you guys have been talking about. I'm going to have a long conversation with your brother after thinking about what you've just told me. You probably won't listen to me, but you should take what he told you with a grain of salt. 
Not everything that he tells you is necessarily true. Yeah, I think that you should definitely go have a talk with him too. <laughs> you have a lot to say sorry for after all. He's in a pretty good mood right now, so if you want to apologize to him for messing up, I'm sure he'd forgive you. I'm going to be joining the company to help him out one day too, by the way. Then I'll be able to spend so much more time with him. He's even told me that I've become more dependable than you. And from what I've heard, I'm more capable than you too. I'm really looking forward to working there. I actually think that I'll be joining a lot sooner than I originally thought. So now you're telling me that you're going to be joining the company too. I haven't heard about any of this. Anyway, Gary's already on his way back home, right? Yep, he should be. He dropped me off at home and left a little while ago. He should be back soon. Okay, I'm going to have a long talk with him later. Thanks for telling me about all of this. Hey, Megan, hope you've been well. You were supposed to meet with Gary today, right? What are you guys planning to do? Yep, we're finally hanging out today. It's been a while, so I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna catch a movie and go to the mall. He said he was gonna take me on a shopping spree too. Why do you ask? Well, I don't really know how to say this. Oh, did you wanna come today too? Sorry, but he's mine for today. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna allow you to come with. I've had this plan for a while with him and I don't wanna share them at all. It's been a while since just the two of us hung out after all. If you came along, you just got in the way. I hope that you understand why I'm saying this. Oh, I'm not trying to get in your way or anything. I just wanted to let you know that Gary has a fever, so he won't be able to hang out with you today. He told me that he was going to see you today, so I just wanted to let you know about it. It sounds like you hadn't heard about this from him yet. He's been sleeping all day, and I didn't want you to get worried about it. Wait... What? Please don't tell me what you just said is true. Has he really got a fever? Is he okay? What's happening? He's fine. He just has a bit of a fever, so I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I just don't think that he'll be able to come see you today. That's all I wanted to tell you about. I'm about to take him to the hospital so we can get him checked out just in case. Oh my god. The hospital? Is this really just a fever? It sounds like this is more than that. He's not, like, seriously sick or anything like that, right? Do you think he might have some sort of long-term illness? I don't know if I'd be able to handle it if that really were the case. Calm down. It's just a fever. Well, actually, his temperature's been a bit high, though. I'm sure he will feel better as soon as he takes his medicine and gets some rest. There's no need to be worried unless the doctors tell us there's something wrong. Well, okay then. I guess I'll have to believe that. Although, what are you going to do if it's not just a cold, huh? If his life is in danger, then I have no idea what I'm going to do. He's going to be alright. I'm sure that it's just a regular fever. I'm taking him to the hospital to get him checked out and I'll let you know what happens if you're this worried about it. I can't just leave this in your hands, actually. I'm going to visit him right now. You're going to work anyway, right? I'm worried about him being left alone while he's like that. I'll make sure to take care of him while you're out at work. I do plan on going to work, but I don't think you should come and see him today. If he actually does have something, it would be bad if it spread to you too, you know? You might end up catching the same cold as him if it's contagious. It's just better to leave him alone and you guys can see each other when he gets better. You can't tell me what to do like that! Don't you feel bad for him? My poor brother is going to be left all by himself. He needs someone to take care of him. I can't believe you're going to work while your husband is sick like this. You're not qualified to be his wife at all. If you were a decent person, you'd stay at home and take care of him. I don't know what to say about that. It's just a cold and he's an adult already. I'm sure he can take care of himself. There's also a lot that I really need to get done at work today. I think I'm going to have to go to the office whether I like it or not. He should be fine for a few hours by himself. What would you 
protect you if something happened to him while you were at work, huh? Are you going to be able to take responsibility for that? Responsibility? For what? Do you not understand what I just told you? I just said that he has a cold. I didn't do this to him, you know. I don't see why I should have to take responsibility. Well, if his condition got worse while you're at work, it's obviously your fault. Stop trying to play it off like you're innocent. This is very clearly all your fault for being so negligent. Okay then, if you feel so strongly about this, then I guess I can change my schedule. How about I call the company and ask them to let me stay home today? Would that make you happy? I'll take care of him if that'll help you calm down. Wait, what did you just say? Are you serious? Why would you do that even though I just said that I take care of him? Are you trying to suggest that you can't trust me taking care of him now? Is that what you're trying to do? You're just unbelievable! I'm not trying to say anything like that. I'm just saying that it would be bad if you got sick too, you know? We don't know what the cause is yet, so I wouldn't want you catching the same sickness. I think he'd be sad too if you got sick because of him. You don't need to worry anymore. I'll do my best to take care of him. I think that I should be able to work from home. Fine then! I won't visit if you're gonna be like this. Also, it's true that I don't want him to get sad if I get sick. However, if something bad happens to him, I'll never forgive you for it. You got that? Yeah, okay, I guess. Is that all you want to talk about then? I think I'm gonna put my phone down soon. I have a lot to get done. Keep me posted on how he's doing. You better not forget, is that clear? He'll be okay, don't worry so much. I'll let you know if anything happens then. Hey Megan, I have some news for you. We went to the hospital to get Gary checked out. The doctor told us it was just a cold and they gave us some medicine to help with his fever. After he stays home and rests for a few days, I think he'll be okay. Are you telling me the truth? I'm not stupid enough to just blindly believe everything that you tell me. Huh? Why would I lie to you about something like this? I just told you exactly what the doctor told us. I thought you told me that you wanted updates about him in the first place. How do I know you're not lying, huh? Is it really just a cold, though? You need to prove this to me. Well, I'll tell you what we did over the past few hours, if that helps. We went to a doctor and received a prescription for some medications that would help him recover. The actual checkup was over pretty quickly as the doctor knew that it wasn't anything too serious. I'm telling you the truth. He really just has a cold. I'm sure he'll be fine within a couple of days. If you say so. If he had some sort of serious illness or disease, you wouldn't hide it from me, right? Why won't you believe me? I'm telling you, he really doesn't have anything like that. If he had anything like that, I would tell you about it immediately. I wouldn't hide something like that from you. In fact, you're his sister, so you probably deserve to know things like that just as much as me. You don't have to be so suspicious of me. I want to help him as much as you do, you know? I doubt that. You were willing to abandon him earlier today by going to work. Besides, if you hide something like that from us and he passed away from it, all the insurance money would go to you, right? That must be why you won't tell me anything. You're just after his life insurance money, aren't you? You're such a dirty rat. Whoa, calm down already. I would never even think about doing something like that. You're insane to even suggest that. Why are you suddenly throwing around accusations like this anyway? It's not like you at all. And why are you talking about the possibility of Gary passing away all of a sudden? Do you really think I'm just after Gary's life insurance money? You're the one who would receive the life insurance money if he passes away, right? Since you're married after all. I'm not saying anything that's incorrect, am I? The company would become yours too. It just makes so much sense for you to try to get rid of him. Your family is poor, aren't they? Are you and your parents after his inheritance together? That must be it. You guys are in this together to try to make your family rich. 
Both you and your parents are absolutely rotten for trying to do this to him. What are you talking about? You're being even more crazy than usual today. Do you want him to be seriously ill or something? I literally just told you that it's just a cold and that it's no big deal at all. Of course not. Why would you even say such a thing? I'm really close with him and I'd never wish for anything bad to happen to him at all. Nothing bad is going to happen to him. Didn't I tell you that he just has a normal cold? Why won't you believe me then? Do you really think so little of me? I thought we had a better relationship than this. I can't believe that you can't trust me and that you're accusing me of planning something so cruel. I'm sad to think that you thought of me this way. Ever since he told me the truth about you, I can't believe a single thing you say. You're incompetent and you're lazy. How am I supposed to trust you with his life? Maybe he really doesn't have a cold. Maybe you've been poisoning his food and that's why he's sick like he is right now. You really crossed the line if you're doing something like that to him. I know what you're up to. You've been slowly torturing him and hoping that he kicks the bucket for that insurance money. Uh, this is kind of getting out of hand now. Look, it's nothing like that, okay? I love your brother, and I promise everything is going to be fine. We all get sick at some point. We're only human, so it's natural. He's completely conscious, and he's just as talkative as always. I don't know if you've been watching too many weird movies or something, but please don't say such ominous things like that. You're really over-exaggerating this problem. I know you're just worried about your brother, so I can understand that you're freaking out because he's sick. But you need to calm down, okay? I'm sure you'll hear from Gary when he's feeling better. Anyway, I'm going to work now, so I'll talk to you later. Hey! Wait a second! Don't you dare just leave before we've stopped talking! I just want to make one thing clear, okay? If you did something to him, I'll never forgive you. I won't let you get away with it if you hurt him. I know that you're planning something really terrible. I can just sense it. Bianca! What the hell is happening? Gary told me to stop bothering you. What's the meaning of this, huh? I can't believe that you would try to frame me as the enemy. Huh? Megan, what is it now? I have no idea what you're talking about. You told him what I said the other day to you and turned him against me. He just took your side on everything and told me not to contact you anymore. You must have lied to him and told him a bunch of crap. Otherwise, he'd never oppose me like this. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. Well, it seems like you're not doing as he told you. So what did you want from me then? I need you to go fix this immediately. You need to tell him that you were the one that messed up so much. You told me I was useless the other day, so I had no choice but to give you a piece of my mind. You went and cried to him after that, didn't you? You turned him against me. He's my one and only. He's my precious, precious brother. Give him back to me right now. I didn't do anything like that. You're just imagining things. I just told Gary that you might have the wrong idea about me and that I might need some space from you for a bit. You did accuse me of some pretty ridiculous things after all. I just think that it's a good idea that we distance ourselves from each other and try to figure things out peacefully. Wow, so you really did do this. That was really low of you. You took advantage of his kindness to turn him against me. You don't like that he and I get along so well, do you? Does it really make you that jealous? I am never going to forgive you for this. Mark my words. I'm going to make you regret this decision so damn much. That's not true at all. I think it's great that you guys get along so well as siblings. I would never do anything to try to break that. I just told him to set things straight between me and you because I felt like there's been some sort of huge misunderstanding between us. It really stresses me out when you try to antagonize me for no reason at all. I know that you're really close with your brother, but I'm his wife. 
Don't you think you've been a little rude to me lately? Plus, it looks like you're very suspicious of me for some reason. It feels like you're trying to create a problem out of nothing to me. Shouldn't we at least try to get along as we're both very important to him? What on earth are you talking about? There's no misunderstanding between us. <laughs> you're poor and you're not fit to be his wife. You're just a parasite that's holding him back. There's nothing more clear to me than that. You're the one that's causing this rift between us. Stop trying to blame this on me when you're clearly the one at fault. He just got a cold and you were harassing me about life insurance money or something. I think it's clear that you're the one causing a rift. He told you not to contact me anymore, but here we are. You're not even listening to what he tells you to do. It seems like you may have some concerns about my relationship with your brother. Just tell me what it is if you do have a problem with me. Concerns? Of course I have concerns about your relationship. <laughs> there are only problems. He is perfect in everything he does. He's amazing at his job and he's rich because of it. He's humble and kind to everyone, so everyone loves him. Plus, he's amazing at doing the housework too. He's such a perfect big brother. You won't find a man like that anywhere else in the world. He needs to be with someone who's equally as amazing as him. You don't deserve him at all. Everything that I hear about you makes you sound like a lazy pig. I guess that you're not the only problem. You seem to have a very warped image of him for some reason. I'm guessing that he hasn't really been telling you the complete truth either. He's a liar after all. Huh? What did you say? How dare you say that about him? Did you really just call him a liar? You're the liar, not him. How could you even try to say something like that? I won't forgive you for insulting him like that. Well, from what I've seen and heard, he hasn't been completely honest with you at all. I'm not wrong by calling him a liar. That's enough! You shut your dirty mouth right now. I really was right about you. I'll never accept you as his wife. You need to divorce him and get out of our lives right now. I had a bad feeling about you from the very start. I'm not lying, though. Nobody's perfect, you know. Not even Gary. Although it's not up to you if we get a divorce or not. Please mind your own business. He told you not to contact me, right? Please do as he says and leave me alone. I don't want to keep on interacting with you if you're going to be treating me like this. You think that I don't have the power to make you get a divorce from him? Oh, we'll see about that. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's a good idea for you to keep on intruding with our lives like this. You're going to be the one that ends up regretting it. Maybe we can talk again later after things have cooled down, okay? Oh, no you don't. I'm not done with you yet. We still have lots to talk about. He wants to divorce you too, actually. I've got undeniable proof. You better be ready to pack your bags. You'll be out on the streets where you belong in no time. He's leaving you once and for all. I'm going to make it happen for sure. Huh? Proof that he wants to get a divorce from me. What are you talking about? What do you mean by that? See this? How do you like that? I told you that I could do this. It's your fault for not listening to me. Huh? What is this, Megan? You really don't get it by just looking at it? You really are an absolute idiot, aren't you? It's just hopeless for you. These are your divorce papers. <laughs> your marriage with him is over as soon as these papers are turned in. You really don't know what divorce papers look like? No, that's not what I meant. I know what divorce papers look like. Megan, why are these papers signed with my name all over them? I know for sure that I didn't sign anything like this. Well, that's because I signed them all for you, of course. <laughs> Do you like my handwriting? It really looks like your signature, right? No one's gonna doubt these at all. It's over for you. <laughs> I see. And what do you plan to do with this? I plan on submitting them. Duh. Come on and use your head. 
What other reason would there be for me doing this? He really was right about you. You're a bit slow, huh? Oh, and of course he already signed his portion of the papers for me too. He's in complete agreement with me over this. You really don't have any way to get out of this. Your future has already been decided. <laughs> get ready to live on the streets and beg for food, you sorry loser. So it seems like things have progressed behind my back. This is such a stupid thing to do, Megan, even for you. How can you be acting so relaxed right now? My perfect brother is divorcing you, so you must be panicking on the inside, right? <laughs> You're about to lose him forever, and it's all because of your selfish actions. I'm not really panicking about anything. I haven't done anything wrong, after all. I'm just thinking about how crazy it is that you've actually escalated things to this level. <laughs> Don't you think this has gotten pretty ridiculous, Megan? Forging documents and forcing other people to get divorced without their permission is not an acceptable thing to be doing. Oh, shut up with those empty threats. It's not like I'm doing this to complete strangers. I'm doing this to save my brother from you. I beat you. Game over. I'll be the one supporting him from now on, not you. Now just accept the fact that you lost to me and get out of our lives. Well, I do agree that I'd rather not have you in my life at this point. So how does it feel to lose? With this, you two will be total strangers. We'll be kicking you out of the company too. You're no longer going to be welcome to work for him. We're going to be hiring someone so much more capable than you. <laughs> you better not be serious about that. <laughs> There's no way that's going to be possible. How am I going to get kicked out of my own company? I'm the president, you know. I'm the one that gets to make all the decisions. Enough with the lies, you leech. There's no way I'm believing anything that you say to me. You're so shameless. Just give it up already. We don't need an incompetent woman like you around to drag us down. It's time to disappear. Me. Incompetent. I wonder which one of us is really the incompetent one here. <laughs> You're going to be very surprised when you end up finding out the truth about all of this. What is there to find out about? I think that it's pretty clear that you've been a nuisance to me and my brother this entire time. I'm the one who's suited to take care of him, not you. We don't need you around to mess everything up. He doesn't need you at all. He doesn't need me at all. Hmm, that's weird. If that were really true, then why is that dear, perfect brother of yours groveling at my feet right now begging for forgiveness? <laughs> He's basically crying. Begging for forgiveness? What are you talking about? Stop lying to me like that. Oh, so you want proof then. I can give you that if you really want it. Do you want to see your brother groveling before me, begging for forgiveness? It's kind of sad, really. Here, take a look. <laughs> Wait, so you weren't lying about this gun? What is he doing? Why would he be begging someone like you for forgiveness? He kept on telling me how useless you were and that you were completely below him in every aspect of life. He'd never do something like this to you. That's because he's not as perfect as you think. He's been lying to you to make himself seem so much better than he actually is. Do you want to know who really messed up at work on the night of your birthday? No way. It can't be. Was it him? That's right. That dear perfect brother of yours messed up big time at work and I had to stay behind and fix everything. To be honest, a lot of the mistakes that I've had to fix at work lately were his. Normally, he should have been the one to stay behind and fix everything, but I wanted you guys to have a good time on your birthday. I was hoping we'd all get closer after that, but look where that got me. I was just trying to be nice but it sounds like he managed to twist the story and make me out to be the bad person. Are you serious? 
Oh my god. So he's been lying to me about this the entire time then? Oh, and that's not all. He confessed to me that he lied to his family about being the president of the company. He said that he was too embarrassed to tell everyone that his wife was running the company instead of him and got carried away. <laughs> I guess he couldn't go back on his word, as his lie had gotten completely out of hand. So much for being perfect, huh? You're kidding, right? This must be some sort of sick joke. He has a kind heart. He would never do something like that. You just made him do this, didn't you? What did you do to him? Answer me! Just tell me what you just said isn't true at all. I've lived the past few months despising you as I was told that you were a horrible human being. I'm not lying about any of this. It's all the truth, and you're just gonna have to accept it. I didn't tell him to beg me for forgiveness or anything like that. I just thought it was funny, so I took a picture and showed you. It's not like I can just create a photo like this. He did all of this on his own. He's the liar and the one that made all of this up. He didn't think you'd actually file the divorce papers, though. He told me he got carried away and signed it to impress you. <laughs> I guess he really didn't want you to find out the truth about all of this. What? I did that because he said he was okay with getting divorced from you. He was just doing it to keep up the lie that he told me? I still can't believe that this is actually happening. You know he's going to be unemployed if we get divorced, right? There's no way I'm going to allow him to continue working here. So all those expensive family trips and shopping sprees you've been enjoying with him, you can say goodbye to all of that. I'm pretty sure he won't be able to afford to do anything like that anymore once he loses this job. He's never going to find a job like this ever again with his skills and resume. Wait, but he told me that he held more power in the company compared to you. Surely you're the one that's going to have to leave? I was going to be working there too. I guess he wanted to look good for his little sister, huh? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, you'd be useless in my company. There's no way I'm going to hire you, so go start looking for another job already. What? You can't just decide on something like that. What do you know about me? I'm way more capable than you. You got that? I'd be way more valuable to the company when compared to you. I heard from a friend that you left the company you recently joined after only three months. Since then, you've mostly been locked up in your house just playing video games all day. Are you saying that a jobless bum like you would be more capable than me? I highly doubt that. You need to start off by taking a good look at your lifestyle and improve from there. No company is going to want to hire you in your current state. Well, that's can't believe that you managed to find out about all of that. That's because that company just wasn't a good fit for me. I was too good for the company. Staying at that kind of company would have been a waste of my talents, so I had no choice but to leave. I know for sure that basically any company would be begging for me to work for them. How would you know that if you've only worked there for three months? That company that you quit is a company I have a good relationship with. My friends over there told me that you wasted a huge opportunity. It's a leading company in the tech industry, you know. Thousands of people would have fought for a job like the one you had. Also, if so many companies want to hire you like you say, then why don't you go look for a job elsewhere? You shouldn't need to seem so desperate to work for my company if that were really true. It doesn't matter if you say it's a leading tech company or not. It wasn't a good fit for me. I know that I deserve better, and that's why I decided to quit. If that company wasn't good enough for you, I don't think you'd be satisfied working anywhere. You wouldn't be able to work for us in the first place. And why is that, huh? Everyone's told me that I would be a huge asset. I worked at a leading tech company after all. You're going to be the one that regrets it if you don't decide to hire me. A huge asset. Sure, you worked at a nice company, but you don't even meet the hiring criteria for this company. We're a small company, sure, but people respect the work that we do. 
I wouldn't want a slacker like you jeopardizing our company's good name. Well, since Gary and I are getting divorced, it looks like you won't be working here anyway. <laughs> now that I think about it, it looks like both of you are going to be jobless now. I feel bad for your parents, <laughs> but their children are going to be unemployed lazy pigs. Wait! No. Can we talk about this? It's not fair if neither of us are going to be able to work there. Okay, I get it now. You're the president of the company, not him. You don't have to fire him over this, do you? You shouldn't be letting things that happen in your private life affect your work life. Huh? Why shouldn't I fire him? I have so many reasons why I should get rid of him. He should consider himself lucky that I didn't fire him a very long time ago. What are you talking about? So many reasons why you should have got rid of him? He's a very capable man. He's also a huge asset to the company. There should be absolutely no merit in firing him at all. To be honest, it doesn't really matter if Gary is here or not. It doesn't make a difference at all. Actually, it would lighten the load for the rest of us, as we wouldn't have to cover for his mistakes anymore. You're not seriously saying that he's disposable, are you? Actually, that's exactly what I'm saying. We have a lot of employees who work at Gary's level. He's not that special. Also, he's the type of person who signs divorce papers to try to boost his reputation. Why would I want to work with someone like that? A person that would do something like that cannot be trusted. Do you think there's any other option but to fire him? Wait a second, please. You can't be making such a rash decision like this. There's no need for you guys to get a divorce. Don't fire him, as I need him to keep on earning money. Why are you talking like you're in charge here? It's my company, and if I want to fire your brother, why should you have a say in that? You've been loud and clear about how much you hated our relationship, right? You wanted me out of your and his life, right? I was just about to make that happen for you. Now all of a sudden you don't want us to get divorced and you want to play nice. Didn't you already file the divorce papers that you forged in my place? Well, I mean, I might have done that, yeah, but I'm sure that it can be taken back. Okay then, so you really did file them then. I'll be contacting the police now. What did you just say? The police? What for? I'm going to be reporting the crime that you committed against me. You forged out divorce papers, of course. What you did was illegal, so I have to let the police know about it since this involves me. Wait, <laughs> come on, don't you think you're overreacting? Why do we have to escalate this that far? Do we really need to get the police involved in all this? It was just something minor that happened within our family. There's no need to blow this completely out of proportion. That's just what I'd expect from a jobless bum like you. You really don't have any common sense, do you? How can you be so ignorant? Did you really think that your actions would not have any consequences at all? You were intentionally trying to ruin our lives. You have to be punished for what you did. I said I'm sorry, okay? Isn't that enough already? I don't understand why you need to escalate things so much. Me not having a job has nothing to do with this too, you know? Are you looking down on me or something? Well, kind of. You're unemployed and spending your time forging documents and ruining marriages. How dumb could you be? It's a very serious crime to forge documents that are submitted to the government, you know? Depending on your luck, the offense could be either a misdemeanor or a felony. Wait, really? A felony? All I did was sign some documents in your name. I didn't know about this at all. Yep, you could be doing some jail time. It'll look great on your resume, too. We'll make finding a job just that much more difficult for you. What? I just signed something on your behalf, didn't I? I did nothing wrong here at all. Huh, on my behalf? I don't remember ever asking you to do anything like that. Do you? Well, you may not have asked me directly. I was just trying to be helpful, you know? There's no such thing as having a substitute sign for you on your divorce papers. 
If I wanted to get divorced, I would have signed those papers myself. Look, there's no way out for you. You've already crossed the line and there's no going back now. This shouldn't be that big of a deal. I just signed some stupid papers. Of course it's a big deal. You broke the law after all. As the president of my company, I take the use of my signature very seriously, you know? It's too bad, though. It looks like you'll be going to jail before you're able to start working at a good company and proving how competent you are. <laughs> Wait, please. Can't we just talk about this? I'm your sister-in-law. Are you really going to report me to the police over this? We're family, aren't we? You wouldn't call the police over a minor misunderstanding between family, right? Huh, a minor misunderstanding. Are you sure about that? I think we're forgetting something here. I definitely don't think it was minor at all. Also, we're no longer family either. Don't try to pretend that we still are after what you did. What are you talking about? Don't pretend that you don't know what I'm talking about. I just got divorced, remember? Thanks to you filing our divorce on my behalf, you're no longer my sister-in-law or anything like that. <laughs> Stop acting like we're family just because you want some help from me all of a sudden. Wait, I can fix this, okay? Just give me a chance to make things right. I'll go to the courthouse now and ask them to pretend I never submitted those papers. I don't think you can take something back like that. It's okay, though. I'm pretty content with getting a divorce from him anyway. I'll be going to the police to file a report, and after that, I'll give Gary a proper divorce after. So, you're really gonna abandon him just like that, then? Don't you love him? You're his wife, aren't you? Yeah, well, that was before you got involved and exposed his true colors to me. I know I keep saying this, but I'm not his wife or anything like that anymore. He's nothing to me, and neither are you. I'll be returning your favorite brother to you now, just like you wanted. He's all yours. <laughs> I no longer have any use for him whatsoever. Wait, please. I'm sorry about being so mean to you before. I'm apologizing. Isn't that enough? I'll do anything. I'll even get down on my knees and beg you for forgiveness. How can I make this up to you? Oh, wow. Both siblings want to grovel and beg me for forgiveness. I must be royalty or something. <laughs> it's almost a tempting offer, but you don't have to do that, really. Your apologies mean nothing to me, after all. Wait, what? So you're really gonna go through with all of this? Yeah, I am, actually. I'm done with the two of you. You won. You can have him. You should be happy, though. You can finally spend all of your time with your brother. Isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> Not like this. This isn't what I wanted or expected at all. Well, this is exactly the result that you deserve. Oh, by the way, I'm sending all of his stuff over to your parents' house. You'll be paying for the delivery cost when it arrives. Best of luck with the rest of your life. I'm sure we'll never cross paths ever again. Wait, please! I'm sorry. Give me a chance to make things right. Please forgive me. Don't do this to us. I'm begging you. Both Megan and Gary had a very dark future ahead of them after what they had done to me. I ended up going through with the divorce with him immediately as I could no longer trust him after what he'd been lying about behind my back. I also kicked him out of the company and made sure that Megan was unable to join the company. I also decided to contact my in-laws to let them know about everything that had happened. I really got along well with my in-laws and I thought that they deserved to know the reason why I decided to get a divorce from Gary. When I told them what had happened, they seemed to be very understanding about it and told me that they think that I made the right decision. They also decided to distance themselves from both Gary and Megan when they came crying for help. They didn't allow them to move back in, so both of them had nowhere to live and no source of income at all. Gary used up the rest of his savings that he had left to rent out a rusty old apartment for the both of them in the outskirts of town. 
Unfortunately, the place that he rented was not a safe neighborhood at all. It wasn't rare for them to hear gunshots and fights break out close to their place. They both became way too scared to even leave their room, and they started to get into huge arguments every single day over who should be earning the money for their living costs. One day, their fight escalated so badly that Gary ended up making Megan unconscious, and she had to get sent to the hospital in an ambulance. The last I heard, she received some permanent brain damage to her brain, and she needed to be hospitalized for the foreseeable future. Gary, on the other hand, was arrested by the police, and was sent to prison for the physical violence he caused to her. Both of their lives had managed to take a huge turn for the worse. It's a shame, seeing as Megan had wanted to spend more time with Gary. She finally got what she wanted, but I'm guessing it wasn't as she had imagined at all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more content.